Instagram. Okay, so it's Heather here with Coco and Claire again. And today we're gonna do some tortoiseshell nails and then I'm gonna show you some of my fall favorites because that's kind of what the theme has been lately. I don't have any new releases next week, so we will go through a few favorites. So tortoiseshell nails, we have 243 pumpkin glass. And we have 242 shaded glass, which is like a, a watered down black. And then we have 239 tinted glass, which is a watered down super dark brown. So you don't have to have both of these if you don't want, you can just use one. It just depends if you want your look to be more on the brown side, more on the blue side, or a little bit of both. And the pumpkin glass is like a nice amber color. So we will get those in. I got our tip here. Oh, I feel like I'm sideways for you guys. Sorry, I think my phone didn't focus right. Oh, am I right side up now? There we go. Okay, sorry. Okay, so there's a few different ways you can do it. You can do different colors too. If you wanna do like a red and a black tortoiseshell, by all means. So, We'll do a couple different ones here. So we're gonna take our pumpkin glass and we're gonna put down a layer of it. And just one nice thin layer. I'm gonna give that a cure. Now that's going. I'm just gonna do the same to the next one. If you guys have any questions, let me know. So we have a whole bunch of glass gels. There's some blues and some pinks and greens and oh, purples. There's a red, the red's really pretty. Okay, right, so for this one, right, so we're gonna take, I just have my little plate here. I'm gonna put some of the tinted glass and the shaded glass on my little pellet here. I'll probably forget which is which because they look very similar. I'll set those guys up there. All right, so we're gonna take our pumpkin glass and this one, we're gonna kind of get a multi-dimensional layer going. So we're gonna put our pumpkin glass on. And we're not going to cure it. So you can take either like your dotting tool or um, a detail brush or even the brush that comes from the bottle. And we're just gonna put a few drops of, this is the tinted glass, so this is the slightly browner one. Let's put a few drops of that. I'm gonna kind of mix it around a little with my brush, just so it kind of gives that bleeded out look. 
And however big you want to make your dots, that's totally up to you. You can do little ones, you can do big ones. And let him go. And so the other one we already put on the pumpkin glass and we cured it. So this one's going to give you more of like a one dimension. Well, not one dimensional, but just not as layered as the first look we're doing. So this one we're going to put on another layer of the pumpkin glass. And the second layer we're not going to cure. And both ways are very similar. They're just, it's just preference of which way you like it. And then we're going to take our tinted glass. Kind of blob him in there. Wherever you feel like he should go. Push them around a little. So these guys are starting to look fairly brown. If you want them to be a little darker or a little blacker in some parts, you can add in some of that shaded glass, which is the uh, diluted out black color. Hard to see on camera, but it kind of just gives it a a little bit different color. If you want, you can drag some through just so you have some lines going a little bit everywhere. And put as much detail into it as you want. So we're going to cure that one. And we're going to go back to the first one. So this one, we're going to put on another layer of the pumpkin glass. So it's going to kind of, the brown blobs that we put on already, it's going to kind of wash them out a bit because we're putting the pumpkin glass on top of it. We're not going to cure that. And then we're just going to add some more. And when it kind of cures and you get the top coat on it and everything, it's going to look like the first blobs that we put on are sitting further down than these ones that we're doing right now. Just kind of, kind of gives it a different texture and stuff. If you feel like you got too much uh, dark browns or blacks in the in one part, just pick up some orange and drag it back through that. It'll kind of bleed it out a little bit. There you go. I'll put that one in. my holder. Alright, so this is the first one. So we're going to give him a top coat. This is just the shiny top coat. that guy and then we'll do one in matte too so we can see what he looks like mm. 
is the second one, and we'll give him a matte top coat. You guys have any questions at all? You guys can see them a bit better. Next, so there's a shiny and a matte. So it's kind of hard to tell the difference in the camera, but so this guy, we put on a coat of the pumpkin glass, cured it, then another coat of pumpkin, pumpkin glass, and then added the shaded and tinted glass. And this one, we did a coat of pumpkin glass, a few spotches of the darker ones, cured, another coat of pumpkin glass, and some more blobs of that darker one, and matte top coat and a shiny top coat. Yeah. There you go. And then I'll show you how to do um, like a tortoise shell, kind of more the, how the stone itself looks, like the actual like stone that comes out of the ground. So we're gonna do pumpkin glass on the entire thing, cure it. Then we're gonna go in with another layer of pumpkin glass. And you don't need a thick coat, just a thin coat works. Right, and then we're gonna take our tinted glass, which is the browner one. And actually on the, I want a bigger brush and we're just gonna pull it through. I'm not really brushing it. I'm more like dabbing it so that it kind of falls off the brush, if that makes sense. I'm gonna take some shaded glass and add a little bit of that in there. Take our detailer and kind of drag it through, make it all it kind of goes like you can see how it goes kind of wavy through it. I want it to do that on a bunch of it. Pull it down on the sides. And then same thing, I feel like there's too much in the middle here, so I'm going to drag some pumpkin glass back through it. Yeah, there you go, you get kind of more of like a traditional rock looking one. I'm just going to cure that. And then, yeah, you can put a uh, top coat on it, shiny or matte, either one, whichever is your choice. And then we'll go through a few of the summer or fall favorites, sorry. So this week was, what's your favorite purples? So I pulled a couple of my purples. These are my favorite fall purples. So I got... 264 Foxy Fig and 237 getting, whoops, getting figgy with it. 
So one solid, one glittery one. I use, especially I use the uh, Foxy Fig one for, works good for art underneath and stuff. And then from the new fall collection, these two are probably my favorite. 404 uh, Molten Maple and 403 Toasted Acorn. They go really nice together. And like, especially the Toasted Acorn, it's really an all year color. I was putting this on uh, my brides this summer and they really liked it. It's just a really nice, soft, it's a rose goldy, but not that pinky rose gold. I'll show you this real quick before I take it off. That is that one, all shiny. Right, and then my fall favorites would be come out a bit, would be the uh, buff, in the buff collection. So I really like all of these and I, it's hard to kind of pick a few, but probably my most favorites would be Latte and Angel Food. Yeah, Angel Food. I use those probably the most. I also use the two darker ones really well. Uh, coffee Bean, no, Espresso and Truffle. I use those quite a bit too. I read, but I really use all of these often, but those ones are probably, those four are probably the ones I use the most. So yeah, those are some of my favorites. And yeah, that's about all I got for you guys this week. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, bye.